Tell me what y'all think. Which one looks better? Or which one, you know, do you like? What's up, everybody? Peace, love, and blessings. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today, I got the Kodak Step. So, another one of the mobile printers that I'm gonna be reviewing. Honestly, they all really the same, just different brands. Without further ado, let's go and get it started. I got goals today, you got goals today. Let's unbox it, see what this thing can do, look at the quality, and see how it is. Let's get it done. Here we go, Kodak Step Instant Mobile Photo Printer. So it has sticky backed photos, so you can actually print the photo right here, and it has a sticky back if you wanna place it on the fridge or you know, anywhere on your wall, you know, in your photo book, album. That's freaking awesome. It prints directly from your phone via Bluetooth, and it has a rechargeable battery. And this is friendly with both Apple Store and Google Play Store, so that's good. Print directly from your smartphone or tablet via Bluetooth, Smudge proof, water resistance, and tear resistant two by three full size photo prints on adhesive back Kodak zinc photo paper. No ink cartridges or toners needed, and add borders, filters, and digital stickers, and more with the Kodak Step print app. Print under a minute includes one starter pack of Kodak zinc photo paper. Okay, so this comes with everything you need, and I also noticed when you when you can buy this, you can actually buy the set. So you can actually buy equipment with it. Like you can just buy this separate. Like I bought this just to separate on its own to see what it comes with. But you can get more options like by buying extra paper with it or accessories that come with it. So I think that's pretty cool. But this is what you get if you just get the print alone. All right, so when you first take it out, you get the startup guide. I'm sure it's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure you just download the app, take some pictures, and then it's gonna ask you what app you wanna, what picture you wanna use. And then next here's the Kodak printer itself. Really nice colors. You got a USB cable, so this is gonna charge it. Also, it has some indicators here. It has a reset button, and it has a charge indicator to let you know that it's charging. So right here's the power button. We're gonna go ahead and power that on. And this light came on to show that it was on. That's cool. Hey, well, how do you open this thing? Like, come on now. <laughs> Been trying to open this thing up for a minute. All right, so let's go with a quick guide. Uh, so this top part is a lid. Slide and lift the open lid. Okay, it's just look like it's right here. Let's go and see. Uh, it says slide, oh, okay, right. Let me pay attention, it says to slide, okay. All right, so next you gotta get the Kodak Zinc photo paper starter pack. It's really small. I'm gonna take this top part off. I hope I don't need it as a test, but which way do I lay this down? Okay, it doesn't say how to lay it down. So we're gonna have to guess, but let's move on. All right, so next you got the charge point right here. This is where the USB go, of course. Then next you have a charge indicator, and also you can tell because it says, what? Charge. It's okay. I'm and then next you got a reset button. It's really, really small. You're gonna need a little pin to put it in there to change it, and that's pretty much it. Now, back to this. How are we gonna put this in here? Again, it doesn't tell me. I hope I'm right. I'm gonna lay it on top. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. Let's, let's hope I'm right. It's a 50-50 chance. All right, and so when you download the app, the Kodak Step app, you know, it gives you a brief introduction to how to use it. You can go to your gallery, check the printer activity and status, take new photos, create collages from selected photos. So you have options to do things. Select printer area, edit your photos. So you can also edit the photos and again, create a collage. We get it. And then scroll through the editing options, customize your collage, you know, and then print however many you want. One copy and have a timestamp on it. So I think that's pretty cool. That's really retro with the timestamp. And that's pretty much it. I got my picture selected, you know, it's from date night, looking real greasy. 
looking real greasy, okay? All happy. And we're gonna do this, okay? All right, it says it takes a minute. I'm gonna go and get my timer ready. All right, so that's about like 38 seconds for real. But look at this. Nice Kodak quality, look at this. This don't look dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a little yellowish. It looks old school, but it did the job. So tell me what y'all think. Which one looks better? Or which one, you know, do you like? I think it did a great job. All right, y'all, it's the end of the video. What do y'all think about the Kodak Step? I think it's really dope. It's really fast. 38 seconds. You know, it did really good. It came out really nice. I would say this is better in terms of speed versus the Polaroid, because the Polaroid, it, you know, it goes in, out, in, out, in, out, and then, it, you know, and that's it. This just kind of did it all at once, just came straight out with the picture, did really good with the colors, I think. I didn't mind the little yellow but that's fine i think it did really good so what do y'all think it did the job right it wasn't expensive at all it's pretty cheap well thanks for watching hope y'all have a blessed day continue being the best you can be and i'm out peace thanks for watching